Welcome to the Automated Daily, Hacker News Edition. Today is the 10th of September, 2023. We're here to bring you the latest and most interesting news from the world of technology, science, and everything in between. So, let's dive right in. First up, we have an update on Nginx Unit, an open source server project that's making waves for its versatility and performance. This lightweight server can serve as a reverse proxy, handle static assets, and run applications in multiple languages. With its native RESTful JSON API, it offers dynamic updates and flexible configuration. It's a one-size-fits-all solution, suitable for everything from enterprise-scale deployments to personal websites. And the best part? It's compatible with a wide range of systems, including macOS, Docker, Amazon Linux, Fedora, Red Hat, Debian, and Ubuntu. Next, we delve into the world of static site generators. One author shares their experience of using the make command as a static site generator for their blog. They highlight the simplicity, speed, and low maintenance of static site generators and provide a basic setup guide for using make. They also share some handy tips for enhancing your site, such as marking the current page in the navigation and generating pages from Markdown. From the world of cycling, we have an interesting story about a cyclist who used his bike's GPS to order pizza during a race. Matt Steele, participating in the Gravel World's Long Voyage Bike Race, wrote a script that ordered a pizza for him when his bike left a geofence about an hour from the stop. Although there were some initial hiccups, Steele was able to refine his script and successfully order a pizza during a test. Moving on to the world of geology, A new analysis suggests that a lithium deposit along the Nevada-Oregon border in the U.S. could be the largest ever found. This discovery could have significant implications for the global lithium market, including price, supply security, and geopolitics. Mining is expected to begin in 2026. In a fascinating DIY project, an author shares their experience of making a synthetic diamond using a microwave oven. They used graphite and olive oil to create a slurry, which was then heated in the microwave to form a crystal structure. The result was a small diamond, not of high quality, but a diamond nonetheless. From the automotive industry, we have news about a magnet-free electric motor developed by German company ZF. The I2SM, in rotor inductive excited synchronous motor, uses an inductive exciter inside the rotor shaft to transmit energy for the magnetic field. This design makes the motor compact, powerful, and efficient, and eliminates the need for rare earth materials used in magnet-based motors. Next, we take a nostalgic trip back to the 2000s with an author reminiscing about their experiences at LAN parties. They share various memories, including reinstalling windows, modding PC cases, stolen hard drives, using cracks for games, and the challenges of internet access at LANs. In the world of gaming, Developer Ethan Lee has been quietly providing maintenance for older PC games for over 11 years. He focuses on porting indie games from the late 2000s to mid-2010s to Linux, ensuring that they continue to run on modern systems. Lee emphasizes the importance of maintenance over remasters, as it allows games to remain accessible without the need for extensive updates or graphical enhancements. New research suggests that the preferred handedness of biomolecules which are asymmetrical at the molecular level, may have emerged from biased interactions between electrons and magnetic surfaces. This finding provides a potential explanation for the origins of life's molecular asymmetry and the prevalence of chiral molecules in living organisms. Finally, we end with a tale of convenience and entrepreneurial success from Japan. The story of Japan's canned coffee is a testament to the power of innovation and the pursuit of convenience. From its inception in 1969 by Tadao Ueshima, the CEO of UCC Coffee, to its widespread popularity today, canned coffee has become a staple in Japanese culture, thanks to the convenience of cans and the widespread availability of vending machines in Japan. And that's a wrap for today's edition of the Automated Daily. We hope you enjoyed today's selection of stories and found them as fascinating as we did. Remember, the world of technology is ever-evolving, and there's always something new to learn. So, stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next episode.